Hello everyone. Sometimes, when it is necessary to level the walls, but at the same time, the installation of drywall sheets on the supporting frame or leveling with plaster, for some reason, is not suitable, you can level the wall with drywall and special glue. I would like to note that gluing drywall to mounting adhesive is the current NAUF technology. Let's figure it out, and first consider the pros and cons of this technology compared to other methods, and then you can watch a short video showing the option of mounting drywall sheets on mounting glue. Who is not interested in thinking about the pros and cons, but is interested in the installation process itself, wind up for the specified time and continue viewing from the drywall installation process. Pros, plenty of them. Installation of sheets on glue is faster than with the option with a supporting frame or plaster. This option is cheaper than mounting sheets on a frame or plaster, in a situation where it is necessary to apply a thick layer and, compared to plaster, has less weight. Beacons are not needed to position the sheets in the desired plane. It is enough to install dowels with self-tapping screws screwed into them and set in the same plane according to the laser level, for a small room. This takes very little time, you can see the process a little later. This method allows you to place the drywall sheet as close to the wall as possible, compared to mounting on a supporting frame, which would require a greater indentation from the wall. A glued sheet of drywall has a much less drum effect and does not ring when compared to installing sheets on a frame. Minuses Of the minuses of this method, it can be noted that there are cavities behind the drywall sheet, Although what is there to talk about, because when installing sheets on a supporting frame, in general, the entire wall turns out to be hollow. Also, with this method, it is impossible to install between the wall and the drywall sheet, insulation or sound insulation. Many do not recommend, and I probably agree with them that this method is highly undesirable in a situation of internal installation on external walls due to the possible formation of dampness and mold under the drywall. The option with gluing drywall is suitable for small differences on the wall, therefore, it should be borne in mind that the maximum thickness of the adhesive, for example, the same Perlfix, is limited to 2 cm. If the layer thickness is higher, then the same NAUF recommends pre-gluing additional drywall strips at the places where the glue is applied in order not to increase the thickness of the adhesive layer. Therefore, before choosing an alignment method, Everyone should clearly understand which method is the most optimal and cost-effective in this case. Well, now a short video about the very method of fixing drywall to walls using mounting glue. The first thing to do is to check the wall for slopes, depressions and holes and find the zero point. What is a laser level used for? For more information about examining walls with a level, see my other video, a link to it will be in the description or comments on this video. Having understood what the wall is and what the thickness of the adhesive layer will be, I mark places on the wall for dowels. For each sheet of drywall, which is installed vertically, I mark out in rows of 2 to 3 holes located in one horizontal line. The next row of 2 to 3 holes is placed with a vertical offset of 50 to 60 centimeters. Having drilled holes, I install dowels and carefully prime the walls. After the soil is dry, I install the laser level as close as possible to the wall and start to screw in all the screws to the mark located on the bit of the screwdriver, which means the zero point. Thus, having screwed all the screws to a certain depth with the help of a level, I get a kind of beacons for drywall that determine the correct plane of the wall. Next, I prepare drywall sheets, if necessary. I cut the sheets in height, the sheet should stand freely against the wall on two drywall linings, holes for switches and sockets are also cut. After that, the glue is needed, in this situation I used Perlfix glue, there are other options from analogs, I'll say right away that this is not advertising, since there is a special mounting glue, then why reinvent the wheel? On the net, I often see what they just do not glue drywall sheets on. Someone glues on tile adhesive or even on plaster, then everyone must decide for himself what is more important to him, quiet work or an experiment with an unknown result. It is worth remembering that for the same Perlfix glue, the lifetime is limited to only 30 minutes, this glue should be diluted only in clean containers, otherwise the glue can get up much faster. 
I recommend kneading the first portion a small one, look at the life of the solution. It happens that bags previously stored incorrectly, for example in high humidity, can present an unpleasant surprise when the glue dries right in the container after kneading after a short time. I stir a portion of the glue so that it would be enough for gluing one sheet of drywall. I apply glue to the wall in the form of separate convex strokes. At the bottom, I apply glue in a continuous strip. If you follow the recommendations of NAUF, then the glue should not be applied to the wall, but to a sheet of drywall, applying it along the sheet in a continuous layer, and in the center with an interval of 35 cm. This option is good if the walls are even and the adhesive is applied with a minimum thickness, but what if the wall is uneven? And somewhere you need more glue, and somewhere less. Realizing that when applying glue to a sheet, the sheet becomes heavy, and it can be very difficult to lift it alone without breaking it. I close my eyes to the recommendations and apply glue to the wall, guided by the protruding screws, so I can immediately see where the glue needs to be applied more and where less. After applying glue to the wall and placing the lining on the floor, I install the sheet, pressing it against the wall. For better fixation, I tap and press it until the screws protruding from the wall. After which I check the plane using the rule. Next, I seal with glue the vertical gap between the wall and the sheet. Thus, all subsequent sheets are glued. The necessary time is given for the glue to dry, after which, some additionally fix the sheets to the wall using dowel nails. For these purposes, I use roofing washers for flexible slate. With a 25mm flat drill, I make a small selection in drywall, literally just a little bit to hide the washer, then with a 12mm drill, I expand the hole so that the inverted washer freely enters the drywall sheet, after which I drill a hole for the dowel with a puncher. It remains to insert the dowel into the wall and tighten the self-tapping screw by pressing it with a plastic washer placed on the reverse side. The main thing here is not to twist too much, so as not to break the drywall, for which I use a torque limiter in a screwdriver. Further, the upper gap between the sheet and the ceiling is closed, as well as the joints between the sheets are closed. In the future, the sheets are finished corresponding to the finish coating. Definitely, this method has the right to life, the glued sheets are held quite securely, of course, provided that they are glued to a strong and dust-free base. That's all. Don't forget to subscribe. I wish you all good luck and see you again.